big day for the both of you, isn't it? It is, yes. yeah. Yeah, it's been a great day yesterday. It's fantastic. And when do you plan? Have you got plans to go up and see the new family? Uh, absolutely. Laurel's going up uh, tomorrow and uh, I'll go up next weekend. Yeah, so we're, we're both really looking forward to it. And you have, have you had much of a chance to talk to Jacinda and Clark at this point? Uh, Laurel has. I had a few minutes last night, yeah, after um, after she, um, while she was feeding it, yeah, it was lovely to talk to her, yeah, she sounded very relaxed and excited, it was neat. Got any picks for a name at this point? Well, you know, it's been bandied around the family for quite a while and everybody's put in five cents worth, um, but uh, that's going to be a choice made by Jacinda and Clark. Uh, and we respect that and whilst we might have given them lots of suggestions the final choice of course is always going to be down to mum and dad. What were some of the suggestions? Any from the siblings as well? Uh, look there, there's such an array of them I, uh, I'll leave it to them to be able to decide what they're going to settle on. You think Clark's going to make a good stay at home dad? Actually I think he's going to be fantastic. Yeah I do. I, th I think he'll do a, a wonderful job. He's been uh, planning, reading, looking forward to it. And so, uh, you know, he's up for all sorts of challenges. And uh, I think this will be just another challenge that he'll meet head on and be able to manage very well. He's so easy going. I'm sure he'll handle it. Mm. Well, I've been receiving uh, texts from her and Laurel's had uh, conversations with her. Um, they're feeling very comfortable, uh, very happy with his uh, things that turned out. A beautiful baby girl from the photographs that we have seen. Uh, a very active baby uh, that kept her awake uh, during the night. Uh, all of the things that parents get to experience. So Jacinda also gets to experience that uh, along with Clark. So um, it's, uh, I'm sure that it'll be, as time goes on, uh, they'll get more used to uh, uh, the effort that it takes to raise a child. Just looked very alert. Um, I, I was really surprised that um, one of the photos she sent after it was born, um, the baby was looking up at Jacinda and it looked like she was in awe of her. And I thought it was, I couldn't get over how alert it was just after being born. So I'm dying to see it and, and, and hold her and just see yeah, what she's like. But yeah, she looked very alert. And mini Jacinda. I, I don't know yet. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, I know that uh, you know we've had lots of conversations about it and talked about where we can help and where we can fit in. Uh, and both sides of the ca family are enthusiastic about offering what support we can, uh, and we look forward to being able to make a contribution. Uh, as Jacinda said, you know, welcome to our wee village. Well, uh, our family is a, a bit of a village in itself, so it's going to be an exciting time for us. Yeah, no, we're, we're very happy to help when we're needed, you know, jump in and help out when we're needed, needed mm. to. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. What was the best advice you were given when you were first parents? Are you going to pass that on as well? Um, I, I think the, probably the best advice I ever received was from my, my own mother, and that was to work hard, you know, keep at it, keep working, keep trying. And uh, I, I guess that's similar to advice that every parent gives to their child. Uh, there's no need to give up, you just keep at it. And um, Jacinda's advice uh, uh, to her own family members will be over to her. Yeah. Oh, I was so excited, um, it, uh, it brought tears to my eyes. I was relieved and excited because I know how, how she's always wanted to have children, so I, I'm just thrilled to bits. Oh, I think the best advice we can give them is um, get plenty of sleep, <laughs> be patient, look out for each other and care about each other and just do the best you can. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Clark will miss his fishing? I think he will miss his fishing for a little while, um, uh, but knowing Clark, uh, he'll find a reason to be out there at some point. And he'll fit it in somehow, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that'll get passed up too quickly. Yeah. So a baby seat and a baby life jacket might be on I the think end. that might be. Yeah. <laughs> might happen. <laughs> yeah. Could well be on the cards. Yeah. Mm. So no doubt it'll be a well-travelled little one. It's definitely going to be a well-travelled baby, yes. Mm. Yeah. It already has actually, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Anything yeah. you'd like to add? No, no. Uh, just that, you know, both Laurel and I are tremendously proud of uh, Jacinda and Clark and uh, we welcome with open arms this new contribution to the world. We know that every mother feels the same. Every grandparent feels the same. And we are certainly full of pride and joy and hope for this child 
and uh, we know that uh, in Jacinda and Clark's hands, uh, they, the, our, our new granddaughter will have a wonderful future. And it's a bit early yet, but siblings for her? <laughs> I got no idea. Bit early yet. You have to ask her that one. <laughs> she hasn't said, you know, when she was growing up, you know, I want to have four children, Mum, or anything. She just said she wanted children, so, yeah. but, you know, that's, that's going to yeah. be up to them. <laughs> Thank you.